Hello there, I'm Chief Meteorologist Adam Clark here at the First Alert Weather Center and we have a First Alert Weather Day. Uh, the National Weather Service and the Storm Prediction Center has the area under a tornado watch until 6 o'clock. That just means tornadoes are possible throughout this afternoon. So we've got our line of storms that are marching into the region and the yellow, of course, that's the watch, but this orange box that you see right here, that's a warning area. Now we've got it thatched in black right there to indicate the severity of it. This is a, a 70 mile an hour storm that is capable of producing tornadoes as well. It includes Saluda is in on this, Newberry is in on this, and uh, it's the western sections of the county as this very strong line of storms pushes eastward. So we'll kind of show you where that line is right now. You can see it just now crossing Lawrence County into Newberry County. This is Greenwood County and uh, pushing into Saluda County. So this is until 1:15. So we've got some time on these warnings as uh, this line pushes in and it's moving at around 50 miles per hour. So what we'll do is uh, do a squall on this and kind of show you exactly what's going on mm -hmm. and when it will arrive here around, let's say Columbia. So Newberry at around 1231, Batesburg, Leesville at 1249. Winsboro, we're talking around 103 Pelion, about 115 in Columbia, around 119. I've put it in the computer that it's moving at 50 miles per hour, and so this is a good indication of when we can expect it. So right around 115 or so here around Columbia, according to this software. And here's a, a brand new look here. We've got uh, flood warnings with this system as well. You can kind of see this uh, area down to the south and, and uh, west, the south and west of Greenwood. We've got a warning, a uh, flood warning for this is this gives us copious amounts of moisture. So a lot of moisture in a short amount of time here around Newberry. We've got some showers right now, just a little bit of thunder, the band of heavy rain and wind and, and upwards of 70 mile per hour winds. That's the primary threat with these uh, storms is that they they're going to knock down some trees. Our soils are very saturated. The roots, it's harder to hold on to the ground when the soils this saturated and the trees just kind of fall. Now, as you can see around Greenwood, we've got some of that heavier rain pressing down to the south and east in areas of Saluda County. Here around Columbia, we've got a band of heavy rain that's just out south and west of Casey and West Columbia. It'll be moving into Columbia here in the near future, so we're going to see some of that heavier shower activity, but we are not under the thunderstorm warning. The big line is still over to our west, but here around Newberry, just some heavier showers The around Joanna and uh, Cross Hill. Just north of Chapels, we've got the heavier rain starting to push eastward, and we're going to see some very strong winds with that too. So here's a wide view of everything kind of pressing from the west to the east, the line of storms uh, from Greenville down to into the southern areas of Georgia here around Columbia, some showers. And again, it's moving at 50 miles per hour, so very quickly moving through the region. Now, as far as our storm reports, you can see we've had several over to the west, and this was even before we had warnings. So uh, no warnings with this. It was just basically the wind that has caused this problem. And we've been forecasting this really strong wind for quite some time. But up in uh, Newberry County at Prosperity, trees were reported on I-26. I'll click on uh, this one right here in western Saluda County around Saluda. Trees and power lines down on Chapels Highway between uh, Sentinel and Highway 702 and that is around 949. So it's non thunderstorm wind damage. So even if we don't have any warnings with any of this, we can still see damage. It's still a first alert weather day throughout, so know that. We've got very gusty winds that are making their way to the east and with impacts and also what's going to happen in the near future and what's happening for the next couple of days. Here's meteorologist Vaughn Gaskin. All right, Adam, let's talk about what's the long term. So we are still going to be looking at our lake wind advisory. We're going to keep that lake wind advisory in place until tonight at about 10 o'clock. So yes, that's even after the storms come to an end, we're still expecting there to be gusty winds kind of moving in behind it. That's what will kind of give us that lower end impact when the ground is wet, when the ground is saturated, we could certainly see those winds moving through and toppling trees. So we want to make sure that you're staying weather aware even after 
after the rain itself comes to an end. So the first alert weather day still stands strong and we're going to see this in place until probably about six o'clock today when we'll take that watch down as well. So that's for the rounds of heavy rain and the wind gusts up to 55 miles per hour and we've already seen some gusts at about 50 miles per hour already today. And behind me you probably hear our weather radio going off which is an indication of another severe thunderstorm warning that has just moved into the area. So for today we're still going to be tracking that moderate to heavy rain and the winds sustained at 20 to 30 miles per hour with those gusts at 50, 55 and maybe even 60 miles per hour. Brief spin up tornadoes are not out of the question. So there's still a possibility as we continue to deal with gusty winds. This is what our future radar is expected to look like with winds coming in from the south. We continue to track the rain and the winds and the possibility of that tornado even into two o'clock as we still see a lot of that deep moisture, the reds and the oranges back towards Newberry Saluda counties. But by this point, we're starting to get in Lexington, Chapin, and Columbia. You're starting to get into the most active weather. Three o'clock. Here we are still looking at that deep, dark line now starting to push into Lexington County. You're in it there as well. Winsboro for areas near North Chester. All of these communities now seeing that deepest layer of moisture, the strongest winds, and that's the line that we could certainly see a brief spin up tornado happen in. We see that line now move to about four o'clock near Lancaster, Camden, St. Matthews, and about Orangeburg. By the time we get to about four, the line continues to hold together. It consistently holds together, and we then move it into areas just beyond Bishopville, Manning, into King Street, beyond Chesterfield. This is five o'clock. We're then starting to see the end of the rain, but like I said, when we started this out, we're still going to see the gusty winds behind this. We could still see the wind gusts going up to about 30 miles per hour into that eight, nine and 10 o'clock time frame when the ground is completely saturated and wet. So we'll continue to watch it. We'll continue to track everything for you. We're going to go ahead and find out exactly what's going on there with that latest severe thunderstorm warning and get you updated on that. Overall today about 52. We've already seen your temperatures getting to those numbers tomorrow a little bit better as we get into your Thursday. We're tracking 60 for your daytime high and of course this takes us into your Friday when we could possibly have another round of strong storms and over the weekend we'll be looking at temperatures in the 50s.